in this video, we're taking it out at the Cone Eco Disc MX32. This is a proper high powered Eco Disc. So, we've seen the MX-18, then we took a look at the MX-18 High Power Edition. Then after that, there's also the MX-32 Light Edition. We'll skip that one, because in this video, it is the full MX-32. This motor is so epic. In fact, this motor is pretty much two MX-18s joined together. Each MX-32 motor is actually two motors with two separate sets of windings. It literally is two MX-18s joined together to make a bigger motor. And it runs pretty much the same as the MX-18, but with double the power. This motor is completely epic. As far as I know, the MX-32 had a large power increase for the NMX era in 2016. This code updated the power in a lot of their motors. For example, the MX-20. In the NMX era, Cone massively increased the amount of power in their MX-20. It seems that in the NMX era, Cone added bigger, more powerful windings to a lot of their motors and really pushed their motors to the limit. And the MX-32 is no different. Before the NMX update, it used to run at 4 to 5 meters a second, sometimes run up to 6 meters a second, but with quite a low capacity at 6 meters a second, so it wasn't that much used for 6 meters a second. After the NMX update, the lift in this video runs at 6 meters a second at 1 1,200 kilograms. That is a very powerful motor. And it does feel like Kona really pushing their motors hard. Because as much as I really love the MX-32, it's such an epic motor. For 6 meters a second at 1,200 kilograms, that is such a big application. I'd expect an MX-40. And the fact you're doing an MX-32 for this application, they are really pushing these motors hard. So then, let's take a look at the logic cabinet. Each motor has three cabinets. The first cabinet contains the LCE, and it's really nice to see this LCE because it's the same LCE as loads of cones other lifts, and it really shows that the LCE is a very versatile logic. In the other two cabinets, there is a VF drive. That's right, each motor has two VF drives because each motor is effectively two motors. The two VF drives are joined together and run completely in sync with each other. Interestingly, Cone didn't use their own VF drive for the MX-32 because the MX-32 is so powerful, it required more of a specialist application, so Cone outsourced to ABB. And it's just weird hearing the ABB VF drive sound on an eco disc. Is this sound I'm used to hearing on like early 2000s generic lift? Such a strange noise for an eco disc. Let's now take a look around this motor room. F drives. There's two. Good for each side because there's two motors in it. It's motor excited got two VF drives. Yeah. Guys, how fast does it go? How fast? How fast? Six.
Let's now surf this lift. Sadly, I wasn't able to surf these epic six meter second lifts, but in this building, there are the lifts that serve the lower floors, which I believe go about five meter second. So a very similar lift. Go slightly start five meter second. Doors closing.
Doors opening. Elevator D. Going up. Doors closing. Doors closing. Good luck,